Hey guys, I find it a little ironic that the command zone, the command zone is obviously a very liberal organization and they preach the same thing to where community college preaches uh, and honestly the fact that they're not paying livable wages to their employees doesn't shock me at the least but it at least is so tone deaf that they actually posted it on Twitter and read it. So people are incredibly mad at them, and I think rightfully so, because if you are going to preach, and you, you can preach all you want, but at the end of the day, you got to actually live up to your morals, and that's something that they did not do, right? So in reality, you, you have a organization that has been, I mean, there's 2.2 up, thousand upvotes, and, you know, earlier today, Command Zone posted the picture job ad on Twitter. And the living wage in LA is well above $18 an hour. So this is not a good look. Actually, McDonald's employees make up to uh, $20 or now they're raised. Their minimal is $20 an hour in California. So it's kind of bizarre that this company would would continue to do this. This job ad is still on their website, though, with the same salary. And it's what I've been saying about Magic the Gathering all along, is they focus on people, in this uh, job description, you can actually tell, who are, quote, passionate about the job. They're passionate about Magic the Gathering. They're passionate about uh, the command zone. So, therefore, they don't need to be a paid a appropriate salary. This is something that Wizards of the Coast has done from day one, uh, there's many, many documented cases where they underpay their employees because they expect their employees to be passionate and working for the company is good enough. Now, people like who work at Google, they don't think the same way, right? They actually get paid more to work at Google and then get more fringe benefits. Um, it's very different from Wizards of the Coast where they're being paid less. In fact, there is a podcast with Jost and the Professor where they just lob each other softballs and give each other pats on the back and there's no tough questions about uh, pay, you know, and, and, and who gets paid what. So this is what it is, right? Um, they have too many employees. They just moved into a new production facility. They're ramping up and spending more money on this to either for investment's sake or for some type of buyout maybe from Wizards of the Coast. They are only interested in money. They don't actually like, you know, like, because imagine you preach being fair and paying a fair wage, and then you offer this, which is less than McDonald's. There's obviously a problem, and the problem is they didn't believe what they're saying, and this is so many different people here. They don't actually believe what they are saying, and this leads them to now being criticized because they do need to have employees, right? And when all your leadership needs an assistant, you end up doubling your payroll very quickly. So as a business owner myself, you know, we don't really hire uh, our, the employee who's entry level. So we haven't hired an intern yet. Those people get paid less because there's a lot of teaching and we don't expect them to stay longer than, you know, they have to go back to school. But for our entry level minimal pay, it's 2250 and what our marketing company and we don't nearly have as many requirements or activities as this company requires you to do. So I find it very appalling almost that this super liberal company is, you know, and I, I mean, they, they will preach fair wage. Trust me, this they preach fair wage, treating people fairly, diversity, all this great stuff. Um, this honestly seems off to me because Josh recently spoke with the professor about the importance of paying people who appear in your videos be employees or guest appearances. The big point there is that Joss doesn't believe in the whole paid and exposure thing. He, at least outwardly, advocates that any time spent or service offered should be paid accordingly with a proper wage or fee and not just by goodwill or providing a platform. But I guess that all depends on actually having a good grasp of what a fair wage is which apparently they failed at. So I think that's probably the most accurate thing is Josh thinks he's being really fair, but he doesn't actually know 
what a livable wage in Los Angeles is because he's too busy making millions of dollars from this. Trust me, the people in the top, they make plenty of money. The Jimmy's, the Josh's, they make butlo. You, you don't got to worry. You don't need to cry for Jimmy and Josh, guys. You know, I know a lot of you will cry for them, but they're making so much money. Uh, it's the people at the bottom you really look at and you say, you know what? Um, how much money do they make? And apparently the answer is not as much as you would think, right? Not as much as you would think. So again, you, you have a very interesting scenario playing out because it's more or less, you know, hey, we preach this and we cannot deliver this. You would think that this organization, given all its ethics and given all of its, you know, um, banter would pay a livable wage, but they do not. Um, and this has been proven by data that's been proven by, you know, you can read the Reddit posts, right? Yeah, that's the nature of YouTube these days. Ad rates everywhere, YouTube included, have cratered. So if you want to be sane and not work absurd 12 plus hours and have a properly laid crew to assist, you need ads. If we want the independently made things we like to grow, we have to learn to be fine with ads or pay them directly. So quite interesting, right? Uh, combined with how much the professor is ribbing. So I guess the professor understands what's going on here. And I, I don't know what the, the professor, the professor is mentioned a lot here. I'm guessing they had a big conversation together. Will the professor, you know, make a statement on this? And the answer is no. When all those people were laid off, pro professor couldn't say that it's bad, man. Even though those were his friends. Wow, that is a lot of job requirements and responsibilities for $18. I make more than that and do less while living in Utah, while, which seems to have a lower cost of living by a decent amount. We will pay you of experience, BS. So will Tolarian Community College uh, talk about this issue? Probably never. Uh, these are his friends. But g granted, if I did it, um, yes, people would just... You know, they would be up the butt, right? Even though I live in Humble, which is one of the cheapest places. We have one of the lowest living standards. People would just still be mad. And I'm telling you, I can, like, it, it is also, if you're only paying somebody $18 an hour, I don't think the job is stable. And the reason being is you're, you're the first one to go, right? Even though you get paid the less, you're just easily disposable because how much training and how, if, if any, will they provide you at $15 an hour? And the answer is, not a whole lot, unfortunately. So again, we have a very compelling situation and something that I think that people should look at more is what people actually, pre like, are, they, are their ethics in the line? So if this Josh guy is so concerned about paying people for, instead of paying them for a platform exposure, paying them for their time and their service, right? Then how come he doesn't pay his own people? Right? You would expect employees, right, to be paid before guests. But you know, the guests, they have social media, the employees do not. So how much do you actually know the reality of this uh, show, right? And will Tulane Community College ever speak up? Probably never. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye guys.